Greetings, let's talk about the role performance breakdown, how to generate your spreadsheets within minutes. First of all, these are the steps we want to follow. And the first one is just making a copy. Maybe you click the link that already generated a copy. Otherwise you would click here and here, set a name and you have your own copy, that's it. Number two, you click on this link and it's redirecting you to your account on Warcraft Logs. You do need one, but it has it can be a very basic account, no worries. And then you scroll down. I'm not scrolling down right now to not expose my API key. You should never share that one. So give me a small second here. You will see this. And down here in the section Web API, you want to enter RPB in version one client name and hit set. You really have to click it, otherwise it's not taken and then you will face an issue. And to the right, you see the client key. Whatever is written there, you copy, go back to your sheet and it's just a combination of numbers and letters. I'm just writing in gibberish. This is not a valid API key, but you should enter your API key here. The sec second thing you want to do, let me get rid of this filter. There you go. You just go to classic logs and let's just take the top or any run. So you copy this link, enter it in this field. So uh, step one, two, and three are done. Number four is if you want to have the name of the log in all of the sheet names. It's deactivated by default, but you can activate it if you want. And then you have the option to have a Discord webhook. That's really nifty because that means once you generate the spreadsheet that can be shared, that doesn't contain the API key and everything, that is actually automatically posted to a channel on your guild discord that you set up. So if we have a look at discord right now, I'll go to the discord for these spreadsheets. There's a lot to see here, but you do have a point where you can hit integrations. And then you go to webhooks, new webhook, and just give it a name, RPB, you could do. Select the channel and say copy URL. And then you go back to the spreadsheet. And enter it in here. And that's basically already everything you have to do. After you set up these four settings, you go to all. And you want to click start all. Ignore the rest for now. And what you will see is a prompt. This is only shown the first time you run this for your Google account. And it's because the spreadsheet is pulling data from an external website, Warcraft Logs in this case, and it needs permission to actually generate all these spreadsheets and save them in your drive and everything. So if you're concerned about security, just make a dummy account uh, or check the code yourself if you're a programmer, if there is anything malicious going on. But either way, let's go forward with the authorization and let me add that new little window so you can see something. There you go. You click advanced here go to call logs 
and then you can see it wants to, in this case, create files and spreadsheets and connect to an external service, in this case, the just work of logs. You allow this, and then you go back, and now the authorization is given, and you have to click start all again. This is the only time where you have to click it twice. So now for the, the report we entered in here, everything is generated. And this takes like around three minutes. It's going through all the however many RAID members you have in your report. And for every single person, it's calling 12, 13, 14 different websites for data. So it takes some time. But while this is generated, we can talk about the settings you can do before you hit start all. First of all, it, it's just generated in the background. So first of all, you can select what should be looked at. Just bosses, trash, everything with, without wipes. And then you can say, I just want to look at Zephyron. So you go to your log and you click on Zephyron and then you can see in the URL there is fight 58. So if we just want to run it for Zephyron, we enter 58 in here before start all is clicked and it, then it's just done for this single fight. If you just want to do it for a section, let's say we want to do it just for Zephyron but at two and a half minutes, there was a call for a wipe and we don't want to see the data or damage taken after the call was done. So on work of logs, you can select this time frame, And then in the top, you can see start and end. And you just copy this, go over here and replace this whatever thing with a minus. And then it tells it, okay, look at this report, but just for this time frame, and it's just generated for that. You have the option to suppress completion messages. Basically, in these two rows, there is a big red text once everything is done to inform you it's ready, as you can just let this run in the background. Uh, I do think it's helpful, but if you're used to this, you can also get rid of this. All right, um, this will be, this will look better on your version, but ignore it for now. So we are done with the all sheet. And now we want to look at all these people. Maybe you had a druid that was a boomkin. So you have to check the roles and adjust them. Let's say Shine Lol is a boomkin. He's definitely not, but whatever. And obviously there are warriors and there are tanks, but there are also off tanks. And this is your settings. So let's say Dalark is just a tank. He's doing nothing else. But we do, do have Neri. He's doing sometimes tanking, sometimes DPS. So he should show up on both. So this would be the setting for that. The nifty thing is, if you do it for a character once, then it's saved. The next time you do a different sheet, this is automatically inserted, so you don't have to worry about it. All right, so after you did this for all the characters, you can also select rows, especially if you scroll down, that should never be hidden. Let's say, let's go to um, damage absorbed. You always want to see greater nature protection potion, even if this row is empty, to see, oh yeah, no one used that. So you would go here and select no. So this, now every single time you generate it, this line is shown, regardless of it being empty or not. All right, so we're done with all of these settings and we, we hit start roles. And now all the magic stuff happens. You can see new sheets popping up in the bottom. Let's look at them. 
The first one is the caster one. So first it creates a copy and now it's getting rid of everything that is not caster related. So it's easier to view, easier to understand and just condensed. All right, that's already it. So this is the caster overview for all the things that are shared. You want to see for all casters what mana potions they used and so on and so on. And then there is a second sheet that has casts in the name. And here you can see side by side all of the classes that were considered casters at some point with their caster players. And obviously you can't compare this, but at least it's on one screen. And if you scroll down, you can see even more stats like what is their activity and what cooldowns did they use, where did they use them. And this happens for all the different roles. It takes about two and, a, two and a half minutes again. And once all of the roles are done, all of these generated sheets are copied to a completely new spreadsheet. So this new spreadsheet only includes the information your raiders want to see, not all the instructions thingies and the all sheet. And most importantly, you're not exposing your API key. And this generated sheet is then um, posted on your Discord if you had your webhook. Or if that's not the case, it's in your Google Drive and you will also see the URL in this row once that happens. And that's basically it. And you can run it for all of your reports. Just takes like five, six minutes and you're already done. All right, the last sheet is done and now as i said everything is copied takes a little while and here you can see we have a link we can click that one only contains the role sheets and if we check back with discord so we had an updating or in moderator only, whatever. Um, yeah, so you see the bot, right, I di it didn't save the name, but you get how it's working. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Any questions you have, get to the Discord and just ask the community or me or PM me, and then we'll get it solved. See you soon.